Welcome back to our channel, fellow streamer. In our last video, we showed you how to set up your Twitch account. In today's video, we're going to show you the next step, downloading and installing OBS. But don't worry, it's easier than finding a decent teammate in any MOBA game these days. So uninstall slobs, and let's get to it. First things first, let's go to obsproject.com and download OBS. I'll put the link in the description. OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software, and it's the more popular software for streaming on Twitch. It's like the bread and butter of the streaming world, or the tofu and quinoa if you're into that sort of thing. Once you download OBS, the installation process is actually pretty straightforward. Just follow the instructions and you'll be good to go. Don't worry, if your grandma can download Mahjong, you can download OBS. Once it's installed, open that puppy up. As you can see, OBS has a lot of buttons and settings, but don't let that scare you. We'll break down the important parts for you. First up, the scene panel. It's located on the left side of the OBS interface. It's where you'll add and edit various scenes for your stream. Scenes are essentially different camera angles or shots that you can switch between during your stream to keep your audience engaged. But to make your scenes come to life, you'll also need to add sources. Think of sources like different props, actors, and pieces of a set that you combine to make one scene within your stream. To add a source, simply click the plus button in the sources panel and choose the type of source you want to add. For example, you might add a game capture source to show your gameplay footage, maybe a webcam source to show your face, or a graphic overlay source to display new follows and subs. You can also customize each source by adjusting its settings, such as its position, size, or opacity. Once you've added your sources, you can add them to your other scenes. Each source can be added to multiple scenes, so you can reuse elements like your webcam, graphic overlays, or even your alerts. And just like with scenes, you can rearrange your sources within each scene by dragging and dropping them. This makes it easy to fine tune the look and feel of each shot within your stream by layering things effectively. In future videos, we'll cover how to utilize nested scenes for more effective OBS production techniques. By combining different scenes and sources, you can create some amazing effects for your stream, such as these. Seriously, your imagination is a limit when it comes to scene creation. Finally, onto the audio mixer panel. This is where you control the audio levels of your stream. You can adjust the volume of your mic, your game audio, and other audio sources you have. The audio mixer is crucial to making sure your stream sounds good. Otherwise, you're just bound to blow some eardrums. I like to keep my audio right around the top of the green and dipping into the yellow just a little bit, around negative 20 decibels. This seems to be the sweet spot for audio. To ensure this, I add a compressor and some other filters into my microphone. You'll have to play around with yours to make sure you find the right spot. And there you have it, a quick tour of OBS interface. But don't worry if you're feeling overwhelmed, we'll go into more detail on each part of OBS in the future. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks on how to make it big on Twitch. Do you love or hate OBS? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, see you in the next video. Happy streaming.